Jesus Freak here, and the question has always been, how true is the creation account as we understand it? And it's my belief that if we're asking about the whole idea of six-day creation or whatever, we're looking at this whole thing from the wrong angle. A lot of the things in Genesis might not make sense if we're looking at them from the big picture looking down. Like, if we're off in the center of the universe looking down at the Earth, then it's gonna sound crazy. that, you know, you start with, with nothing, then you have light and dark, then you have the sun and moon, and then you have the stars. And it's going to sound crazy that 22 and a half feet of rain is going to cover the earth in the flood. See, we're looking at it from the wrong angle. In the days when Genesis was committed to paper in the first time, uh, place. The creation wasn't understood as, you know, ex nihilo. There was nothing all of a sudden there's something. The idea was that there was chaos and then all of a sudden there was order. And if you understand this, you know, when the fog, uh, let's say you're standing in a thick fog for a long period of time. As the fog clears away, you go from seeing nothing to seeing light and dark to seeing larger, closer celestial objects, sun and moon, and finally you can see the stars. Gee, that sounds familiar. And if you're living in a flat area uh, of the Earth and you, you've never been anywhere outside this area, and you, you can't fathom the concept of huge, multi-mile-high mountains, and you don't have any perspective, you're going to see things off in the distance and they're going to look like they're only a few high, a few feet high. From this perspective, it seems perfectly reasonable that the 22 and a half feet of water that are described as covering the highest mountains in the flood account Because it never said that's all there was. In Genesis 7.20 it said, As 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered. But it doesn't say they necessarily you know that that's as far as it you know, 15 cubits, and then it stopped. 15 cubits, and from the perspective of someone sitting in the ark, sure, everything was covered. They weren't necessarily anywhere near somewhere like, you know, oh, Mount Everest or anywhere like that. They could see the difference. And this is the same thing with with our English phrases, sunrise and sunset. We say the sun rises and the sun sets because from our human perspective, that's what we see. If we're looking at it from space, then no, it's not what it looks like. But 
don't think of it that way. Think of it from our earthly perspective. Think of it as little old five foot person standing on the Fertile Crescent and looking at these things. This is what they're going to see. And it's perfectly in line with what the Bible says. So what's wrong is the details. What's wrong is the angle from which we're looking at it. Change your perspective. And the Bible is even literally from a, a certain point of view obviously true. Jesus freak out.